If you want to become a successful trader, you must stop comparing yourself to other traders. And any social media, it doesn't matter what the others are doing, it doesn't matter how, how well other traders are doing. You cannot compare yourself to others. First, you don't know their background, you don't know how many years they've been trading, you don't know their strategy, you don't know their risk management, you don't know their mental health, the psychology behind trading. How are they thinking? You don't know anything. The only thing you need to focus is on yourself. You must focus on yourself, technical side, psychology behind trading, a strategy that works for you, a set of rules that for, works for you. On the technical side, what kind of trader are you? Day trader, on the five minutes, on the 15 minutes, on the one hour, are you swing trader? On the daily, on the weekly, long-term position holding. It all comes down what works for you. So stop following others and start focus on yourself. Hey there, Tamir from FibonacciTraders.com here. Thank you very much for joining another weekly market recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends and without any further ado, let's hit the weekly charts. So let's see what the market brought us in the previous, in the past week. Inside candle, 436 holding, 445 resistance. Not surprising because if you can see, we can only look left and see that during June until July, 445 area, very tough resistance. Then it became support. And now in the past two weeks, it's the resistance once again, 436.80 needs to hold. Otherwise, 430. Everybody's crossing. All the social media is talking about head and shoulders. But head and shoulders, it's a pattern. In my opinion, all patterns are not really reliable. Why? Because if you can see on the daily, you can see head and shoulders. But you also can see inverted cup and handle. Now, on the daily, we have this purple trend line that is still holding the higher lows since March. Last Friday, pre-market, we have talked about this purple trend line. We have been talking about that we are looking for a bounce of this trend line. And here we are, bounced. Now, let's see continuation above 446. As I said, patterns... If you look for patterns, you will find them. But patterns are not reliable because you can see head and shoulders on the daily. But where is the head and shoulders on the weekly? And as we know, the higher the time frame, the longer the trend, the stronger the trend. So if we zoom out, we can clearly see a red trend line that's holding the higher lows since October. So as long as we are above this red trend line, we are good to go. In my opinion, 430 and 423 might be next before Q4 of 2023. Always prepare for both sides. And we have this red trend line that helps us to identify that we are still in the long term on the yearly trend. This is a yearly trend. We are with the lower highs. QQQ. You know this trend line. We drew this trend line a few weeks back. And now here we are. Two consecutive weeks. This trend line is holding the higher lows, which means on the cues, we are still in an uptrend. 356 together with this red trend line needs to hold. Otherwise, we have all the levels to the downside 346 and 337. In my opinion, and of course, it's only my opinion, it's not a financial advice. Once we will get a weekly close below this red trend line, we are heading straight towards 337. Long continuation, a weekly close above 367. We can see looking left 367, a very important level of resistance. Broke to the downside now, two weeks in a row. One second resistance. So I'm looking for a weekly close above the 367, 368. And then we can say 
bulls are back. Dow Jones, another great example of why trend lines and Fibonacci, this is all we need for our support and resistance for future price action. We drew this white trend line a few weeks back. And once again, we got a bounce of a trend line of a Fibonacci level with a doji, a doji, usually with high probability signals, a trend reversal might be coming. We are in a three weeks downtrend on the Dow Jones. Now, doji on the weekly with a from a very significant level of support. It was resistance, resistance, resistance throughout 2022. Now becoming support. Doji, let's see continuation long above 348. And we can say bulls are still here. IWM. Four weeks of a downtrend now. Doji of the 182. Look left. 182. Important support. Resistance. Support. And it's also the 618 retracement. Fibonacci retracement. Uptrend. Retracement. 618. 182. Now with a doji. Let's see if this doji will really signal a bounce above the 186. And we can say bulls are back for the IWM. If we can look further back, zoom out, we can see lower highs since August last year and higher lows since October. Price of IWM on the yearly trend, on the yearly term, is getting tighter and tighter. One of these trend lines will get broken. Always prepare for both sides. Bitcoin on the weekly, doji after previous week. Downtrend, now 24,600 needs to hold. Otherwise, we are heading towards this white trend line. We can clearly see double top scenario of the 31,700. This neckline, 24,600 from resistance, now becoming support let's see if it can hold ethereum same thing we have a red trend line that helps us to identify the higher the lower highs as you can see each and every time since april price tried got rejected now we have this white trend line that holds the higher lows since june of 2022 together with this 1520 1520, look left. Very important level of support. During the beginning of 2023, it was a very important level of support. So now we wait to see if this area will hold. Otherwise, we are heading towards 1360, 1230, and then back to 1000. Crude oil. Let's see what crude oil brought us two weeks back got rejected from this very tough area of resistance now going back down retracement 80 needs to hold otherwise we are heading towards the 76 let's see if crude oil can break up and above it and then we are heading in my opinion straight towards 97 natural gas same thing Natural gas have a very strong level area of resistance over here between the 217 and the 3. Very tough resistance area. Look how many times price tried and failed to break up and above. It broke but failed to close. We are looking for a close above a resistance area. And then we can go long. In my opinion, I'm waiting for a weekly close above the three and then we are heading towards 330 386 and we have this trend line that helps us to identify that overall we are still in some kind of a bounce trying a bounce higher lows since april we had a very steep downtrend over here 
from December 22 all the way towards February 23, two months of a very steep downtrend now trying to bounce. We can take, we don't need even Fibonacci. We can take this trend line, copy paste, put it over here. And now, as you can see, trend line, doji, bounce. Trend line, doji, bounce. Now, once again, trend line, doji. Can we get a bounce at least towards 275 and then towards three? All you need is Fibonacci trend lines. And the relationship with candlestick analysis, in-depth candlestick analysis, check the links in the description below. First, you need to start with the free Fibonacci Traders Academy playlist. You have everything that you need over there to start your trading journey or to become a better trader on each and every day. The technical side and the psychology behind trading. But then if you want to take it to the highest level, you can choose your own path. We have the one-on-one -on -one live mentorship program available in English and Hebrew. And we have the online program, same program, but pre-recorded. Six hours, 49 lessons. Both programs will gain you access, lifetime access, access guaranteed for support, guidance, and all Discord channels. Check the links in the description below. SOXS, Trendlines, Fibonacci, and two dojis. Trend is up. If you are not long yet on SOXX and you want to go long, in my opinion, a weekly close or two, three days above 506. And then we are heading towards 537 and the upper red trend line together with the 580. Apple, with all the noise, Apple, green week. Now it bounced off the 50%. Now we have a higher low and a higher high on the weekly. Let's see continuation above 181 area. And then we are heading towards 186. Above 186, we are heading back to all time highs at the 200 area. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Where Apple is heading towards 200 or 165 and 160 to the downside any comment any feedback will be much a suggestion if you have everything will be much appreciated nvidia with all the noise of earnings failed once again to close above the 480 480 very tough resistance since beginning of july as you can see now once again closed below it 407 is the next support that needs to hold. We also have the 434 in the middle. We can draw a line. Support, three weeks of support. Here, four weeks of resistance. So 440, all this level of the 440, not to be ignored. Below it, 407. Tesla is next. Once again, trend lines gives us the true support resistance together with Fibonacci gives us the true support resistance for price action. Last week, we closed off the 50%. And this week, surprise, surprise, we have higher highs and higher lows because this purple trend line is holding and supporting the higher lows since January. Now let's see continuation towards the 260. Above 260, we have this trend line in our way as resistance. Microsoft still below the 325 area, 325 area. Look left. Since May, very important level of support until it broke to the downside beginning of August. Now, two weeks in a row, very tough resistance. But on the positive side, it's holding the longer term uptrend line long continuation weekly close above 325 google holding uptrend line 133 very tough resistance five weeks in a row very tough resistance below this trend line below the 126 where price might be heading next 
No need to guess. We have Fibonacci, 120, 116 are the next support. Weekly close above 133, where price might be heading next? No need to guess. We have future resistance that Fibonacci gives us, 143. Is it correct? Of course it's correct. Look over here, look left. Since August 2021, support, resistance, sorry, resistance, support, resistance, above 133, 143 area is the next resistance. All we need to know is how to use correctly the Fibonacci levels and any time frame and any security, whether it's Bitcoin, crypto, forex, stocks, ETFs, and the weekly and the daily, day trading, five minutes, 15 minutes, 60 minutes. It works and any time frame and any security, all we need to do is really understand how it works. It's not just swing low, swing high. Every time frame has its own swing low. Every time frame has its own swing high. And we need to know. Netflix, uptrend until proven otherwise. If you want to go long, we are waiting for a weekly close or maybe two, three days above the 443. Look how important of a resistance area is the 443. Since beginning of June, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 weeks failing to close above this area. If bulls will give up and will give up on this trend line, we are heading straight towards 373, 350, and then we have 317. Breaking up and above, two, three days above it, even a weekly close above it, I would wait. Then 485, 445, 54, and then all the way towards this white trend line. Meta and the weekly, doji, inside day, which means indecision for price section and meta. Short continuation below 274, long continuation, in my opinion, only above 3. 26. AMD, continuation to the downside, now breaking below the 50%, heading towards the 97, 97, very important level of support. It was a very strong resistance, resistance and support. Let's see if 97 will hold. Otherwise, we are heading towards 91 and 81. Overall, AMD is in a downtrend since June. Each and every candle on the weekly has lower highs, lower lows, which means downtrend. Amazon stuck between the 126 and the 142. Short, below, long, above. Until then, sideways move. We have also this level over here. Resistance. Resistance. But overall, we have two trend lines, two significant trend lines, long above 142, towards where? In my opinion, 160. Below 126, we are heading towards 120 area. Train your eyes to look left and any time frame to find the next support and resistance area for future price action. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends, hit the notification bell, because since last Monday, we are going live each and every day during weekdays, of course, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, pre-market preparation on the technical side and Q&A. Until the next video, enjoy the rest of your weekend.